Yeah, it's okay. No problem. Okay. All right, so uh, there you have me. I'm Robert Chan. I'm a Max Diamond Associate. I'm not medically trained. All right, so, uh, but I have read extensively on uh, glutathione for the past seven years. All right, so uh, my knowledge of it is, is good enough to get by. Uh, let's put it that way. So the contents of this presentation, it must be stated very clearly that they do not constitute medical advice or instructions. And they do not also reflect or represent the policies of Max International. Right? Where possible, I have included citations and mentions uh, to acknowledge original source materials. In this instance, I must specifically mention a few people that have been my guide. Right? Some of them I have met, like uh, Dr. Herbert T. Nakasawa, the inventor of the product, his son Scott Nakasawa, uh, Jeanette Roberts. These are some of my mentors. And all the information that you see on this presentation are actually sourced from the interviews that these few people gave and the things that I read through PubMed. Right? So uh, today I'm going to share with you my exciting journey and experiences at Max International. So we start the, pro, uh, the presentation proper. Now the presentation outline, this is what you're going to be hearing today about free radicals and oxidative stress, about what antioxidants are, what is glutathione, the good and bad news about glutathione, the science of glutathione, Max International, the glutathione company, that's what we call ourselves. The science and the scientists behind ribosine, the product that we are talking about, and of course, the max business plan. This uh, presentation is going to take approximately 1 hour 15 minutes. All right, we're going to have some impromptu testimonials later on. Probably I'll uh, ask Dr. Lane to come up and give uh, his testimonial. So he will be prepared uh, for everybody to see what he has got to do to help us. All right? So, uh, health decline signals. Whether you are young or you, you are old, it doesn't really matter. You have to mind your health because things like feeling tired all the time, aching muscles and painful joints, high blood pressure, blurred vision, loss of memory and concentration, poor hearing, wrinkled skin, dryness and age spots, unable to have good sleep, digestive problems, depression and anxiety. These are all signs that indicate that there is a continuous cell destruction in your body. All the cells in your body are not functioning properly and they are being destroyed. So what must you do? Now, let's look at our body system. Our body system actually comprises of atoms. So we are actually all chemical. We are not some vegan, you know, just because you start taking Vegetables, you, you start to become a vegetable. No, you, you, we are still, no matter how you look at it, we are still made up of atoms. And in the, at the first level, the chemical level, atoms combine to form molecules. And these molecules combine to create our cells. That is the second level, our cellular level. And in the third level, we have tissues that consist of similar types of cells. Similar types of cells join together to create the tissues that we have. And of course, it, at the organ level, uh, it is made up of different types of tissues. The biological system level consists of organs that work together. Right? That's why we have our biological system. We have actually 11 such organ systems in our body. And every one of this biological system has cells. So, cells are the smallest unit of life in our body. We have more than 37.2 trillion of them, and our body creates 40 billion every day. Right? So, everything starts and ends with the cell. If you are sick, it is because of the cell. The DNA 
that people are talking about, they are located inside the cell. They are not outside the cell. Alright, a war is going on inside our body. 37.2 trillion cells fight, free radicals, oxidative stress, cellular inflammation, chemicals and toxic substances, pollution, radiation, and of course, accelerated aging. So continuous cell destruction occur in our body every day. Alright, every day. Now we're going to talk more about the free radicals. So what are actually free radicals? Free radicals are actually, the scientific term for free radicals is reactive oxygen species, ROS. But we call them molecules with missing electron. You have a normal molecule with even paired electrons. Now the moment an electron goes missing, it flies away, something happens to it, the molecule becomes a free radical. So free radicals are molecules that have missing electrons. They become unstable and they disturb the cells and uh, they disrupt your homostatic organization in your whole body. So where do these free radicals actually come from? How do they occur? Major contributors of free radicals include your metabolic process. In the process of making energy for you, Alright, in a chemical transformation inside the body, when you take food, natural conversion, including with oxygen, nitrogen, or hydrogen, into ATP, adonisin triphosphate. Alright, our body produces free radicals. This is something that you cannot avoid. It happens every time. If you want energy, the free radicals is something that comes with it. Right? We say that it is a free radical, it is given to you free, but they actually do a lot of harm to you. Right? Okay? And essential body functions like liver detoxification, immune system defense system, uh, the immune system defense that we have. The immune system, in the act of protecting you from uh, insults, injuries, in order to protect you, they also create free radicals. So if you're injured, there is free radical. Right? Just to give you a, a, a rude example, if you if you if you are a cancer patient and you go for chemotherapy, because of the chemotherapy, you create a lot of free radicals because your immune system is trying to protect you. And lastly, our environmental processes like pollution, radiation, drugs, stress, poor dieting and illness. All of this trigger free radical production. All right? So you can see there are a lot of ways that free radicals are produced in our body. Right? It is free. But don't, don't take it in such a way that because it is free you want more of it. Eh? Okay? It's not something that you want. All right? so, Oxidative stress is defined as a disturbance in the balance between the production of free radicals. That means you have more free radicals than you have the ability for the body to counteract or to detoxify you. This is actually what happens. Free radicals. You have a lot of free radicals. It is termed oxidative stress. And if you have too much oxidative stress, what you get is your cells are dead. And once your cells are damaged, you have diseases. This is the progression. From a simple free radical, it becomes disease. So, tissue damage, formation of age fitness, especially for the older people, decline of mitochondrial function, DNA damage are some of the features associated with oxidative stress. So it's important to remember, because of the free radical, it cascades into many, many things, including oxidative stress. Now, this is a simple illustration to show you what, how oxygen can destroy us. Right? Oxygen is life-giving to us, but it also destroys us. That is why, that is the reason why it's called oxidative stress. 
So this is a summary of free radicals and oxidative stress. So how do the simple things, you know, the simple layman terms, how does it how does it come about? Poor diet, pollution, pesticides, toxins, smoking, medication, trauma, burns. This is a whole range of it. Alright. All of this create, you can imagine. So we consider this our cellular enemies. Our cellular enemies. So we have an antidote against these free radicals. Thank God for that. Alright. Antioxidants help neutralize free radical molecules by donating the electron that went missing. Remember the electron that went missing? Okay? The antioxidant actually donates the electron to make it so that your free radical becomes a normal molecule again. This is what it does. Anti an uh, antidote against free radicals. You have your antioxidant. It donates an electron. And your free radicals become a molecule again. But the problem here is that antioxidants. What does happen? No, no. Oh, <laughs> it's okay, no problem. <laughs> this impromptu. So uh, anyway, we uh, we're checking to see that you, you don't actually need to see me, right? It's not important. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay. Anyway, most antioxidants become free. Uh, weak free radicals after donating the electron. After you donate, after the antioxidant donates the, ele uh, the, the electron, they become a weak free radical themselves. So we have in our body five network antioxidants. The five of them, we call them, or what uh, some doctors call them, superhero of antioxidants. We have vitamin C. We have vitamin E, and these are considered exogenous antioxidants. Exogenous means that we have to get it from the source outside of the body. It is not produced inside our body. It has to be sourced externally. And we have, of course, coenzyme Q10, alpha lipoic acid, and glutathione. These are considered endogenous. That means our body creates these antioxidants by itself. So when you are born, you don't actually need, you need the nutrients, but you do not actually need the antioxidants. So as you grow older, something happens. Alright, we'll see what's going to happen later on. But, so we must, from this you can see that we must take, there are so many different types of antioxidants. But the, these are the five main ones. And we are going to concentrate on the one that's flashing here, it's called glutathione. Glutathione. Alright? So we must take a range of antioxidants to stop free radical damage. So if we do not, then you will result in chronic diseases in our body. Now, just to show you how important or which is the most important of the five network and antioxidants. We have alpha lipoic acid, coenzyme Q10, glutathione, vitamin C, vitamin E. So we are taking records from PubMed from 1983 to 2019, which is 36 years. In 1983, these are the amount of citations or research papers that were submitted to PubMed. 845 alpha lipoic acid. Coenzyme Q10, 170. Glutathione, 9,793. And wow, in 1983, vitamin C is so popular, even until today. Even the kids know vitamin C. All right? And we have, of course, vitamin E, 6,931. Now, we fast forward to the 20th March 2020. That is today. Today, you can see the difference. Glutathione has 143,727 citations on PubMed. How important can that be? Just to give you an example, how fantastic or how much people are actually concentrating on 
the research of glutathione. Just give you an example. In 36 years, glutathione take on average every day. There are 10 submissions. Well, of course, they don't submit every, every day, you know, all right? There are public holidays. But on the average, in all the days, 10 research papers are submitted to PubMed every single day for the past 36 years. And the doctors don't know about this. And the pharmacists are ignorant of this. And worse than that, the common folks, they don't even understand what this is all about, right? But the research scientists see the importance of glutathione. Shouldn't you? Now, more than all the other major antioxidants combined, glutathione is said to be the biggest area of human health research of the 21st century. That is without a doubt. Without a doubt, it will be the leader. All right? It will be the leader. It is the only way for you to move forward to have a healthy body. So what is so unique about glutathione? What is this, this antioxidant thing, you know? What's, what's, what's so, so unique? We know antioxidants utilize free radicals. All right? We have vitamin C, vitamin E. You have water-soluble uh, antioxidant. We have fat-soluble uh, antioxidant. We'll discuss about the fat and the water-soluble at another day. Because if I went into details of all this, it's going to take us five hours, right? So we're going to cut it all short and just concentrate on the antioxidants that neutralizes the free radicals. The only difference and the major difference that glutathione has over all these other antioxidants is that glutathione can recycle itself. That is the number one thing that it does. And it also can assist other antioxidants to recycle. This is the magic of this molecule called glutathione. And for this reason, we call it the master antioxidant. The master antioxidant, right? So, other antioxidants cannot adequately protect our body against diseases without glutathione because it, they don't get recycled. When they don't get recycled, these other antioxidants also become weak free radicals. Remember, weak free radicals, antioxidants, after they donate the electron, they become a, free, a, a weak free radical. So we're going to have a build-up of that without glutathione recycling them. So without glutathione, our cells would disintegrate from unrestrained oxidation. Now, I'm explaining it in layman terms. Let's, let's let, let a scientist explain this. I hope you can, I hope you are able to, to, to hear this. I'm sorry we can't, so I will. Uh, Rufus, can we get some sound here? Where's Rufus? There's supposed to be sound. Can we get the sound? Free radical. Good okay, 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 okay. Uh, no, no, I, I want this to play correctly for everybody so that you'll be able to understand uh, what is the difference. Glutathione and its ability to neutralize free radicals can actually neutralize many different types of free radicals. When it neutralizes a free radical, glutathione itself never becomes a free radical. Whereas vitamin C and vitamin E, when they neutralize a free radical, they actually become a weak free radical themselves. Glutathione is one of the only antioxidants. Okay, so so anyway, you, you heard it from, from uh, Scott Nagasawa. Scott Nagasawa is the son of the inventor of our product, uh, Ribosin, uh, Herbert T. Nagasawa. Right. So, this is the reason why we call it the master antioxidant. Now, our immune system protects us from cellular damage, detects bacteria, viruses, including all of these carcinogens, pollution, germs, pesticides, you know, and repairs our damaged uh, 
tissues. Glutathione helps prevent damage to this biological system by sending correct signals, correct and accurate, optimum immune response. Very aptly put, like uh, what Dr. Amir, our uh, company consultant, mentioned that if you have a fire, there's not much point in sending the police. All right? Okay? So you must be able to send the fire brigade. This is exactly what glutathione does. So without glutathione, we will have no resistance to diseases and chronic cellular inflammation. So that's the reason why we call it the immune system protector. Okay? Or immune system modulator. This is how important glutathione is in our body. This is the second most important thing that it does for us in the body. Thirdly, we have the detoxification pathway or the biotransformation. Now, for those of you who are new to this, if we hear some big words, don't worry about it. Okay? It is not important. You will get the gist of this at the end of the presentation. And that is what I want all of you to go away with. All right? The big words are there to just make it sound like we're some cool dude, you know, <laughs> having some medical knowledge, right? Okay, so uh, glutathione S transferase or GST combines with the toxins and using glutathione makes it into a glutathione complex water soluble in a process called conjugation right and after conjugation gets detoxified in the liver and kidney and then broken down into smaller pieces and excreted from our body and for this reason we call glutathione the master detoxifier right the master detoxifier and it is also for this reason because of the detoxification and the glutathione leaving our body through excretion, we have this problem here. One of the reasons why our cellular glutathione levels are depleted and or compromised as we get older. As we get older, because of our production of glutathione is reduced and the removal of it. You know, the older people, you can eat anything you want, right? Because you're the parent. So you, you, you take any food that you want. But then for your children, you say, no, no, you don't eat this. No, no, you don't eat that. You know, that's, that's normal, right? For a parent to tell the children not to eat this and not to eat that. Please, please eat healthy. But then in the meantime, the parents go around eating Kentucky Fried Chicken, McDonald's, you know. <laughs> I, I, seriously, I suspect some of the parents bringing the children to all of this fast food center, they actually want to eat the, the thing themselves. Okay. By the way, this is not advertisement. I'm not putting uh, fast food down, but then uh, everything has to be done in moderation. Okay, but because of this, glutathione levels uh, are compromised. Now, uh, just a reflection of what I mentioned in the beginning. The citations are at the bottom of my slides. You, for those of you who are watching the live feed or uh, in time, come the video that. You may not be able to see this, but all the materials that you see on the screen today are sourced from me. I, I didn't make up the story myself. I'm not that good, right? We give thanks to the people who did all the hard research for this for me to extract the important points and show to all of you. So it is a multifunctional molecule. Use saturated in our cells, neutralizes free radicals, protects against oxidative stress, strengthens our immune system, the most efficient detoxifier, reduces cellular inflammation, and many, 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 many more. Really, <laughs> so much more. The superhero of antioxidants. So you know who this guy is, right? Do you? Those of you? For those of you who mentioned that this is Captain America, you're wrong. This is not Captain America. It's Captain Antioxidant. All right. This is his partner. That's why he's in all blue. Okay. 
Now, the most abundant antioxidant in our body, glutathione, can regenerate itself and it assists other antioxidants. This is the main gist of all of the things, all the slides you saw just now.